I keep hearing the same thing over and over again from so many different people. And I feel like this needs to be stated. I was out the other day with a friend and we're sitting there having a conversation about money and about saving money and how to best invest money and all the different financial strategies you've probably seen or read in different finance books or Dave Ramsey or Graham Stephan, any of these gurus, they all have their own different strategies. One thing that I keep hearing all the time is that everyone always has this very linear way of making money and the best possible strategy of life. People always say the best strategy is to go to school, get a job, save money and retire in your 60s. And to me, that's like the worst strategy possible for so many different reasons, some of which I might get into in different videos, but for a lot of reasons, I think that's one of the worst strategies ever when it comes to making money and building wealth and just the best strategy of life overall. But one thing that keeps coming up is about how to use money. And everyone always says, save your money, save your money. You need to save money. You need to save money. Saving money is the pathway to wealth. Saving money is a pathway to good investments. And I think all of that is just absolute nonsense. While I do think that you should save money to a degree, I think you need to spend your way to long-term wealth. Spending is the way you build long-term wealth. Spending is what will help you retire earlier than 60 years from now or 50 years from now or whenever your 401k is ready for you to take your money out. You need to spend money to build your way to wealth. Now, whenever I say that, people always sort of fight. They say, well, how do you spend your way to wealth? That doesn't make any sense. If you're spending money, you're losing money. And I think the nuance of that, and everything has nuance to it, the nuance of that is you need to spend your money on things that actually provide an ROI, a return on your investment. Now, the issue with the whole idea of school, job, saving money, retiring that way is I think all those things in general, in general, will provide you with a negative ROI, a bad return on your investment. For example, you go to school. A lot of people, when they go to school, they don't learn any skills that you can apply in any type of economy. Some of the things people go to school for are just so nonsense. It's such bullshit. It's just a waste of time. You know, you go to college and some of the degrees people take out is just pointless. Like you get a, get a, you get a communications major, for example, and I'm not shitting on communications majors. I had pro play friends that did communications. I think some of the classes they took were in general, good, interesting classes. This is not against communications majors. This is not against anyone in the liberal arts. I was in liberal arts. I'm not poking fun or making fun of anybody. But what I will say is that those degrees in general don't set you up for a good financial future because they don't give you good skills that are valuable in the economy. Now, for example, if you went to school and you did engineering, I would say college is a good ROI. It's a good return to your investment. You take out some loans because you probably have to. You go to school, you become an engineer, you make maybe about the same per year to start as you took out your loan for. Say you took out 70K in loans. Maybe you get out of school, you become an engineer, you make 70K starting or 80K or 90K, whatever. To me, that's a good ROI because in a few years, you can, in theory, pay that back off, assuming you're not wasting your money or blowing it or doing all kinds of nonsense with it. Fair enough. But for a lot of people, they go and they do liberal arts, they do communications, they take out 50K, 60K, 70K worth of loans. And the job they get afterwards pays them like 20, 30, 40K, or you can't get a job at all. Because like I said, this, the degree itself isn't that valuable in the overall marketplace. Then you're losing money every year because of inflation and because of the interest piling up and making the balance of the loan go up. It's just nonsense. It's very low ROI. Same thing with a lot of jobs. Sometimes you get a job and you don't get pay increases in the same proportion as inflation increases. So every year you're kind of losing money if inflation goes up. You're seeing that kind of now as I make this video in 2022, in the middle of 2022, inflation has just been going up rampantly. It's insane. And a lot of people are getting pay raises to offset that increase in inflation. So effectively, you're losing money twice because you're not making, you're getting a pay cut effectively when you really think about the how the numbers work out. So to me, the whole idea of saving your way to wealth isn't a good option. Now, I think back in the past, maybe you could put your money into a bank account. Maybe the bank account had a good interest rate, and maybe you could sit on that nice interest rate for a few years, maybe a few decades. And then when you retired, that plus your 401k or whatever, or your Roth IRA, if you were fancy, that could have worked. I don't think that works out now. I don't think that's the best strategy these days. My thing is, the best way to truly build wealth, in my opinion, is to spend your way to wealth. And that's, like I said, that's where people kind of fight me. Now, when I say that, I don't mean spend it frivolously. I don't mean spend it recklessly. I don't mean waste it. I don't mean spend it at the party at parties or clubs or on cars or all kinds of synthetic liabilities. 
What I am saying is you need to spend your money on things like real estate. It's been proven to be one of the best ways to preserve wealth and to generate wealth. Assets like a company, some people will purchase companies and the company, if it's a cash flowing, if it's a positively cash flowing company, that will help you build more wealth in the long run. That's what I'm talking about when I say you need to spend your way to wealth. So hopefully that makes sense. I keep bringing this up and a lot of people fight me on this and I just, I, I just don't understand the, the reasoning behind this. I think because they hear spend in their brains. They think of spend as spend leisurely or waste. Like you spend your money to get clothes at Gucci or Target or I don't know, whatever. And it's like, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about spending money casually on just dumb stuff that's recreational. I'm not saying recreation is bad. I'm just saying, I'm not saying you should waste money. What I'm saying is that you should spend money on things that actually provide a return. And to me, when I say return to, the other part of that is it doesn't need to be an instant return. If you spend money on, say, for example, a course or mentoring or maybe a mastermind or some kind of group, you might not gain money that same day, obviously, but over time, the information you gain and the insights and just being able to be around a certain group of people, the networking, those things to me will also lead to wealth. It's a good way to spend your way to wealth. And I mentioned this in other videos I do, and it's one of the, the, it's one of the pillars I bring up, but a good relationship, in my opinion, is if you find the right relationship, it's actually more valuable than having money in my opinion so hopefully this video makes sense hopefully you got something out of it like i said i don't believe in the whole idea of just saving your way to wealth i don't think that's a good strategy nowadays i think maybe in the past that was a great strategy but nowadays when it comes to inflation and people's salaries and their pay not getting increased to the rate of inflation it's not the best strategy i think you need to find assets to spend your money on and ultimately spend your way to wealth